Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the channel. I need to take care of some of these tomatoes. And today's video, I'm going to be talking about pruning your tomatoes, how to prune them, if you should prune them, that sort of thing. Now, you know, this is my opinion. People have been gardening for hundreds of years and have never pruned a tomato. And that's okay. I'm not saying that you have to do it. But for me, because I do grow in a smaller area, it's beneficial. And this year has been so hot and humid. I think it's beneficial for my tomato plants. And I'll talk about that here in a little bit. So this is a Roma tomato. This is a determinant variety. And what that means is it's going to put a determined amount of fruit on the plant. It's also going to grow at a determined height, typically around three to four feet. So I'm going to show you how I prune my determinate tomatoes. A lot of people say not to, um, but I do, I don't do a hard prune on them. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that and talk about why. And then you can weigh the options for yourself. By the way, it's like six o'clock in the morning. Um, my coffee hasn't quite kicked in, so I apologize if I'm not my usual chipper self. <laughs> I need a coffee IV. So we got a little bit of rain last night, and as you can see, the rain has splashed up dirt onto these leaves. You can prune determinate tomatoes all the way up to the first set of fruit so I'm going to go ahead and do some pruning here. I just use scissors. Please make sure that they're clean. You don't want to cut your tomatoes with something that's not been cleaned because that's a good way to introduce diseases. Uh, so the reason I am going to be cutting all of these bottom leaves off is that, you know, that dirt, who knows what's in the soil and it can cause things like blight and it's a good way for critters to crawl up and completely eat your tomato plants all right so hopefully yeah you can see that i have pruned all of the ones from this first set of fruit right here and down this is also going to allow for um airflow so that way if it's humid you know we don't have what's the word I'm looking for they don't get mildewy and moldy so you really do want to ensure that you have some good airflow at the base of your plant okay so I have my work cut out for me I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the tomatoes in the backyard done and I'll take a clip of what that looks like once I am finished and then we'll move to the front where I have a few indeterminate varieties and pruning them is a lot different okay so I am done with this area as you can see it's much tidier the plants will be able to get some good airflow now. There is the pile of leaves. And now I have to move on <laughs> to this area. And I'll show you what that looks like when I am done. All right. And here is this area nicely pruned up and much tidier than it was before and I'm gonna pick up this video tomorrow because the heat of the day is definitely here and 
I'm not doing any more pruning, but it took a lot of time and a lot of work, but it's worth it in the end, right? So I'll see you tomorrow morning, but really it'll only be a couple seconds. I do want to talk about something really quick when it comes to pruning your determinant variety tomatoes. So I prune these big leaves right here. You do not want to prune the armpit sucker that comes out. And let's see. Whoa, focus, Maisie. You don't want to prune those. You only want the big leaves that have no fruit on them. These suckers are what produce your fruit on a determinate variety. All right, so here are some indeterminate variety tomatoes, and I've already pruned, pruned the bottom of them, and I'm clipping them up with these vegetable clips. I could leave those in the description in case you are interested in those. So for my indeterminate tomatoes, I don't do a whole lot of pruning. Um, I prune the bottom. And so I'm going to tell you, a lot of people say to prune your suckers. Again, this is the main stem. This is a feeder leaf. And then this right here is the sucker. A lot of people say to pinch those off. I don't. I don't pinch them off because I just kind of let them fill out this trellis and I'll just clip them. Um, what I will do is once the plants reach the top of the trellis, I will go ahead and snip the tops off. And what that will allow it, the plant to do is put all of its energy into setting on that fruit instead of growing taller. Because unlike determinate variety tomatoes, indeterminate varieties will just keep on going and they will just keep putting on flowers until they can no longer do that. So for me to ensure that I get as many fruit as possible in our short season here i like i said i just snip the top of the plant off that's called topping the plant and that way it will just concentrate on the flowers and setting that fruit all the way until frost so i hope you found this video to be informative to those of you that have asked on pruning tomatoes, my opinion, how I do it. I truly hope that this helped you. As always, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for being you. And until next time, happy gardening and abundance and blessings.